Council for District 3. Lived in the district for three or four years. Had to count back from five. But um, I'm proud of a lot of things that we've accomplished. There's a lot of unity that's taken place on the current council that we have that we wouldn't have gotten things pushed through that we've gotten pushed through had we not had a cohesive group who could get these things done. I've heard it said it takes four votes to get something done. We've been able to get those four votes and done many times more than those four votes. I'm proud of the fact that I served on the council and in serving on the council that he has given the first tax decrease from the millage standpoint of county respect of, uh, can anybody remember a county council giving a tax decrease? Never. <coughs> well, that ever happened before. You guys are great. I didn't, I didn't think it had happened before. Uh, I think 3.7 was the average village increase uh, across the board. Some got a little more, some kind of get a little less. Uh, and we gave a 3.3 uh, millage decrease to try to offset that. I'm proud of the fact that we were able to move ahead with uh, some of the things rather quickly, like the Cultural Heritage Commission, get it where it needed to be. There's still a ways to go with it, but uh, it's a lot better than it was when we walked in the door. Um, you know, I guess for me personally, it's a matter of wanting to serve the people, um, but it's also a matter of getting to be able to talk to someone, to get to sit down with an engineer, or get to sit down with uh, one of your colleagues that's on the commit uh, council to get to uh, actually communicate with them and then listen to you instead of cut you right off. Uh, I think that communication barrier has been lifted somewhat and uh, I think the council and the uh, committees and the uh, staff have opened up for me and talked to me and we've talked freely about some things and we've got some things done because of that. Uh, I feel comfortable talking to all the guys that are on the council now. Uh, I'm looking forward to what we can do in the next couple of years. Uh, I am, I'm, a, I'm a little bit disappointed, <coughs> and I'll tell you why. I'm a little bit disappointed because we were in this spot a year and a half ago, a year and three months ago. We were right here at this spot. And we were talking about what we were going to do, or going to try to do. And now we're right back here at this spot, not having had enough time to get near, near as much as you want to try to get done done. So while we're standing at this spot, and as long as we go through this campaign, I'm looking forward to talking about the issues. I'm looking forward to talking to people about the reason why they should vote me back into office. I'm not looking forward to talking to, to anybody about why anybody else shouldn't be in office. That's your decision to make. So I'll just cover why I should be in office. And one of the biggest reasons is not only the decisions that I made and the work that I've done behind the scenes to get some things passed, is the fact that I can communicate with people. I can help, I can make them understand what they may not see clearly the first time. And I guess, as I've heard it said before, need two more years. I've got a lot of going on with the fire departments right now. I've got an amendment going to the state legislature to try to allow us to get a tax district in District 3 so that we can build <coughs> substations. We've just recently approved the county to go ahead and start taking estimates and bids on building a brand new uh, fire training center. Uh, there's a lot of things that are going on that I could I, I could I couldn't bring the 12 page list of things and accomplishments that we've done over the last year with me but those are some of the few things that we've been able to accomplish so far if we're going in the right direction I just hope that you see fit to allow us to continue to continue to go in that direction thank you